So today it is time to open another 100 pound Pokemon subscription box. This one right here, this one. This is actually a very special one guys because it is the one year anniversary of me buying these subscription boxes. So not only are we opening it in today's video, but I'm gonna be announcing a very special giveaway. So stay tuned for that and let's rip into it. Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be opening this. I, I never quite know why I actually hold the box up. Like it's it's just a cardboard box. But what's inside, on the other hand, is very exciting because inside here is a hundred pounds worth of sealed Pokemon card product. This is a subscription service that I signed up for a year ago now with Griffins Gamings and it is by far and away the best investment I've actually made here on the channel because it's guaranteed me product and content and stuff to open and stuff to enjoy and have fun with for a year now without fail. I've never had to worry about getting my hands on stuff if there hasn't been anything available on shelves or in shops because he will always hold stock back to fulfill his subscription box orders. And that is why it's impossible to sign up to these subscription services with Griffin Games because they're so popular. A bunch of you watching, I know I signed up for these and you're loving it and a bunch of you watching as well are wanting to sign up but you just can't because there's no space and that's why the giveaway that i'm doing later this month is a huge one because griffins gamings are kindly giving us here on the channel one of these 100 pound subscription boxes to give away to one of you guys watching here completely free of charge and i will ship it anywhere in the world now i'll be doing that giveaway and announcing the winner during a live stream at the end of this month so you can't enter in the video right now you need to tune into that live stream at the end of the month so if you want to get involved in that giveaway and get a chance to win that box from griffins gamings then make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can come and get involved in that live stream as well as all the other streams and stuff i do here on the channel because i do a bunch of giveaways during it, pretty much every live stream i do and also drop a big thumbs up here on the channel as well and just help support us and help keep us growing It'd be very much appreciated. Anyway, let's open up this month's box and see what we've got inside because it's good. it should be a good one because Evolving Skies was released like two, three days before I got this delivered. So fingers crossed there's going to be some inside. Let's go. Okay, let's cut her open. Oh, there's a lot of packing peanuts in this one. <sighs> I regret that. Okay, so uh, let's go. I can see a couple of bits here first, and let's see what we've got here. Okie dokie, right, here we go. So first up, we have an Evolving Skies Triple Blister in there. They've got the Esku, ooh, and the Umbreon version. This is super popular, and actually, if you go into any shops that have these blisters, all of these are already gone. So actually, to get hold of one like that, that could be one. Now, I do want to remind you guys, once we find out what's inside the box, I will normally pick some items out of it to open at the end of the video, and we'll do a little opening at the end, see if we can get some decent pulls, so stick around for that. Next up, we have the mini portfolio, and these are cool. That is something that, by the way, I'm pretty much going to open it. I'm guaranteeing I'm going to open this. You get the little... Uh, portfolio little deck holder. I don't recommend using these to hold your cards if you're looking to get in mint condition. If I'm honest, you're better with sleeves and then like a proper like Voltex or Ultra Pro binder. These are more like, um, I don't know, maybe good for your kids to use. So the booster pack on the back is good. Okay, we've got another item in here. We've got, oh my God, I'm getting peanuts everywhere. And we've got the Calyrex V uh, the Ice Rider version, the collection box. And I'm hoping there's some good... See, I actually personally think these are a really good product because you've got Darkness of Blades and Chilling Rain. And actually, Chilling Rain, as, as a lot of people call it, Chilling Pain. Uh, yes, it is a tough one to get pulls from, but if you do get some pulls, those legendary alternate art birds in here, and I really do want those. So you never know. This, this is another one that I definitely could crack open today. Uh, and do you know what? Or use it as another prize to give away at some point, as you know, I love giving stuff away here. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. Dance space, uh, Rebel, Rebel Trash is in there. It's uh, not a massive fan. I'm seeing some random booster packs. We have one, what? Get, get them the right way. Wait, what? There we go. We got there in the end. The Galarian, Galarian Zapdos and the Ice Rider Calyrax on the front there. A couple of booster packs. Oh, I'm seeing a trainer toolkit. Now, this is cool because I have one that I wanted to keep sealed. 
but I did kind of want to open one as well here on the channel because you do get the four booster packs in there and a couple other cool items. So I'm not going to open that in today's video, but I probably will open that in the upcoming video on the channel because I haven't done one yet and I kind of want to really see for myself what's inside one of these. So that's cool. Now, I think we may be down to the last item, and this is one of the coolest seal collection boxes you can get on the market right now. It's just stunning, and that is the Galarian Rapidash V. Honestly, it, you have to have one in person to appreciate it. I'm a, I love seal products to collect. I've got like a ton of collection boxes over here that I've been keeping sealed because they look awesome. I just need a better way to display them to be honest. But it's got this matte glittery, I don't know, textured, matte, it's not matte, but glittery textured finish. And you can't really see it on the camera, but it's all around here. And I think it's one of the coolest looking collection boxes. And it's got Darkness Ablaze in there. It's got three, bat uh, two battle styles. And I think it's like a Crimson Invasion or something at the back here. I think something like that. But again, I've not actually opened it because last time I bought one, I bought it for my seal collection to open. So that's definitely something to open up here on the channel. And I'm just gonna double check, but I think we've got a lot in there. And yeah, so that was the last item in there. And I'm very, very happy, guys. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And let's, uh, let's go and open some packs or something now. Um, maybe some Vulgus guys. Okay, guys, we are actually going to open all of this and we are going to kick start with Chilling Rain. Okay, let's see if we can get some goodies out of this. Again, I would love to see some of them legendary bird all arts in here. I'll show you the code cards at the end because I don't I hate, I hate knowing if you're going to get a good pull out of a pack. It just kind of ruins it for me. I prefer to just find out randomly in here. Anyway, a Larian, a Sobble. That is like really peaceful. Larvester, cast form, Galarian's far fetched, a Weedle. Okay, we've got a Brawler and, oh, Cressilia. Cressilia Hollow, not too bad. Okay, next pack, two, one more of these, and then we are onto pure Evolving Skies with four booster packs. I don't know, let's see how the uh, the the pools are. Maybe I'll, you know, maybe if you don't get any big, big maybe I'll chuck open some more Evolving Skies because I'm desperate to get some big pools out of that. So far, I haven't really managed to get anything. I really want the. Uh, Rainbow Red Gyarados, because for my Gyarados collection, of course. Swirlix, Raboot, and... Oh, chilling pain it is today, that's for sure. Well, let's go for the booster pack in this then, shall we? Okay, and for anyone that doesn't know, here's a little closer look at that little binder there, you see? So this is why I don't recommend it for really keeping your cards, because it's it's not the toughest of things. Um, personally, I would never ever use this, even if I was making a deck to go and battle with, because then you've got to take all the cards out of it to actually play. Um, I... I don't necessarily see the see the point in them if i'm honest maybe one of you guys will really tell me but maybe for a little mini trade binder that you just want to chuck in your bag if you go to school and you want to do trades with your mates and it's low value cards or something that could be a good idea but for anyone who has a bigger collection i wouldn't necessarily recommend these <laughs> and there we go there's the umbrian booster pack and how is everyone enjoying evolving skies actually uh it's it's tough for some and not so much for others some people are getting some really decent uh, pulls out of Evolving Sky and some mad luck, but I've seen some other people with some horrendous luck. Like, I'm thinking of doing a video soon to talk about Pokemon because there's a few things at the minute that are just quality control has gone out the window, that's for sure. Condition on stuff is terrible. Right, let's see if we get so big. Nope. Okay, well, maybe the blister will do us some better luck. Let's crack it. Okay, so here's your contents. You'll, of course, get your promo card, which, by the way, I haven't showed these. Here's some more code cards for you guys. These came out of the the stuff I just did. Good luck. Hope you get some good pulls. If you do get anything good, come and tell us what you pulled over on my Discord. It is all linked in the description down below. And uh, it's a great place to really, to be honest. I, I know I'm saying that. It's my Discord. But no, honestly, it's great. It's really, really building. We're well over 400 members now. So getting on there to 500. So if you want to come help us hit that mark, come and head to the Discord. Anyway, you got a coin. We've got a... Um, Seshawani! My voice is screwed. Like, I was ill this weekend and... I still have not got my voice back, so I'm so sorry for everyone that's having to butt up with it. Then we have that Eskew promo card in there. It's really nice pop on that hollow, isn't it? Like, really cool. I like that a lot. And then we got our free booster packs, and let's go for Umbreon last. And start with the Rayquaza. Okay, come on. Blister packs, right, in my previous experience, should give you one decent pull per blister. But I've seen people 
getting two secret rares in a blister pack, but I've seen people get absolutely nothing in a blister pack. The receding or uh, you know pull ratios of products now from from Pokemon is completely all over the shop, and I have some theories to why that is, and that's why I say should I do a video on talking about it? Uh, let me know if you want me to do a video on about that. And my theories on it all. Anyway, let's see if we get something. Nope. Maybe the Dura London will bring us better luck. I know a bunch of you out there absolutely hate the way I pronounce Pokemon names, but uh, such is life and such, such is me, to be honest. Right, let's get something good out of this. Come on, we're going to get one good pull. If we don't, I'm definitely opening something else, guys. You stick around. We've got to open something because I need to get some decent hits in an opening. It's a Rayquaza V. My voice really went there. Uh, it's a Rayquaza. We got a Rayquaza V for you Ray Ray fans out there. I know that'll be happy, but this card is escaping from that bottom corner, is it not? Wowza, that is well off center. But again, not, not bad, not bad V card. One of the better ones to get with the Rayquaza for sure. Now it's time for last pack magic, but as you saw, we have already got one hit out of this blister pack, which is what I should expect you would normally get per blister is to give you something, but you never know guys. We could have a special one today, and this could have two hits in one blister. Uh, no, my luck, if we get another hit, it's just going to be a hollow. But you never know. We could get that, what, Red Quasar uh, VMAX alternate art. That would be a big hit. Or the Umbrian alternate art V. That one I very much like as well. Right. Slack off. Petil. Okay, Psyduck. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, we did get two hits. We got the uh, Re Reggie Drago. Reggie Drago in there as well. So, I, I'm i not, not too happy. Two hits there, guys. Two from one blister pack. That's not bad at all, guys. But I tell you what, let's do three more packs. I had to do it, guys. We're going to crack this Umbreon one as well. To be honest, it's not worth keeping sealed. I'm not a massive fan of displaying blister packs. So, we're going to crack this one as well. Okay, so here's our contents once again, guys. Uh, we got a pro, we got a code card, but actually there were some more that I haven't showed you guys yet. So go ahead and enjoy them. Then we got the old Szechuani okay. <laughs> coin. And then those free booster packs. And we are going for Umbria last. That brought us a hit last time. Let's kick start with the Dura London this time. This is what we got a hit from before. Now I know someone in my Discord, Emma, is adamant, well, she's one of the mods here on the channel, that Sylveon booster packs bring the heat. So we have a Sylveon pack up next. Let's see if we get anything. <gasps> I think we got something in this pack, but I think it's just gonna be a standard V, you know. Uh, Psyduck, Eevee, Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Xena's Resolve, and a Dragzolt V. So Dora London, back to back V cards, both both Lister packs. That's pretty cool. And you know what? For a VR, that is really cool. I, I really like the artwork on this card. I, I don't know about you if you guys agree, but it's one of the cooler looking... I don't like the Pokemon as such, but the artwork is really cool. Okay, time for that Sylveon and Emma. Let's see if you're right with it bringing the heat. We've had one pull so far. Can we get two out of three? Uh, we are about to find out. So, right. Applin, Lillipup, Amolga, Tentacle, Pumpkaboo. Shake. Oh. Nothing out of that one, Emma. But you never know. Last pack magic. And this is it. I'm not opening any more packs after this. Not until the next video, guys. Or the next stream. So let's see if this Umbreon can bring us some love. Get something big out of it. Uh, I still haven't pulled. Oh my god, look at. These are pack fresh. They should look a lot better than they do. Pokemon's QCs. Terrible at the moment. Low tab, Teddy Sora. Okay, Nick it. Doodle. Okay. Come on. I have not pulled an alternate art yet from Evolving Skies. Could this be the moment? No, but it's another hot two pulls from three packs in two blister packs in a row. That's pretty crazy. A V and a hollow in each one. Now I can see why people might actually be getting double pulls per blister pack, because I'm seeing a lot of people get two pulls out of these, which is pretty cool. But we got the Floorgress uh, Hollow in there. It's a, it's a pretty enough looking Hollow, actually. It's very nice. Uh, what is the condition actually like? Shocking. What is this? See that mark at the bottom? Can't You can't really see it in the light. But down here at the bottom, there's a, no color. There's a patch of no color. What the hell's going on there? 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Remember to go and check out Griffin's Gamings. I'll chuck a link to their website down below, guys. But also hit that subscribe button here on the channel so you don't miss out on the giveaway that we're doing for Griffin's Gamings late this month with that £100 subscription box. Other than that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do give it a big thumbs up. Go and chat off down in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts and everything. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.